Well, Super Rock Grave has first break today. Something in the steering either broke or came loose, but I'm gonna say broke probably. So let me pop the body off, it's just a bunch of little screws. Let's see what's going on in there. Normally when I'm working on RCs, I do everything by hand with hand tools, but because there's so many little screws in this thing, I'm going to use this uh, DeWalt impact driver, 20 volt. Then I got this Mac Tools screwdriver set, this is pretty cool. It's got every single Torx bit, screwdriver, tamper proof sockets, everything you can think of. A little ratchet screwdriver. A little ratchet you can put the bits in. This piece right here goes right in your impact driver and holds all the bits. It's got that thing right there, so it's pretty good. It covers everything, so I'll use that. But first, I gotta take the batteries out of this. And one of the things I think is really awesome about this truck is with the placement of the spare tire, stand this thing and take the battery up, just go like that. And it balances right on the spare, it makes a little tripod, so that's awesome. So just pull down, pop the battery door out. And you got two four cells for a total of eight cells. This thing's awesome on 8S. Let's pop the door back in. It's starting to get a little dirty and not working like it did when it was new. So I guess either just keep it clean or deal with it. So the first thing is take off the spare. Just so gonna need to take this off to get the body out. It's pretty nice. It's a full size functional spare, 20 millimeter hex. And then there's a bunch of screws, 16 I think all together. We'll just start popping this off. Always try to keep track of your screws. I just recently built this workbench out of a big piece of 3A steel. So I'm just kind of throwing it on the back because I made a backstop so nothing can roll away. Pop the top off. That's what that looks like. What I like to do for these screws, I'm sure you all know, seeing the boxes that servos come in, like the Savic servos. I usually hang on those details for the screws. Or if you want, you can use like egg cartons. Those are good too. Pop all these off. Alright, so that one's got a little bit of dirt and that's what I do there. I take like a real small bit, kind of go like that, and that gets the dirt out. There's one up here like that too. So that keeps everything clean. Because you don't want to strip these screws out. They strip out easy and then that's kind of a pain to get out. Let me flip this around. Do the same on the other side. So 
So I'm hoping once I get this apart that it's just something came loose. But I have a feeling it's broke. I wasn't really beating on it, but it did take a couple little tumbles. This thing comes apart exactly like the 10 scale rack, right? That looks awesome with the body off. I kind of like it better without the body. Uh, I never even noticed before the mirrors right there are actually reflective. I try not to look at them though because for some reason mirrors crack when I look at them. But it's pretty, it's pretty, you need a lot of scale detail. So maybe now I can see what broke. Alright, right there you can see the 750kV motor. It's a pretty big motor. And it's kind of weird, the DBXLE comes with an 800 kV motor, this is a 750. So I, I thought this motor was going to be bigger, because it's also with 8S. But take a look at a DBXLE motor. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know I built my own claw buster from scratch, using a motor and some parts from a DBXLE. So take a look. So right there is the DBXLE 800 kV motor, so it's quite a bit bigger than the 750 kV motor in the Super Rockray, but I don't know, I guess size doesn't always matter though. Alright, so to get to the steering setup, I'm going to have to take a few more pieces out of here. I can see just the pieces, and honestly, I can already tell it's broken. I was hoping that something just came loose. No, but it's definitely broken. There's a few things a little bit better about this though than the 10 scale I've noticed. They did refine a few things. This is the part you want to be careful on, just because you don't want to damage any of these light bars, because there's a lot of wire in there. Yeah, I can see it's definitely broken. Yeah, another cool thing about these screwdriver bits, they're magnetic. That helps a lot. Right here, part of the servo saver broke. But one nice thing, it's got an aluminum servo arm right from the factory, so that's cool. So part of me wants to borrow some parts from the Super Baja, right? And then just reorder that later and fix that thing just because this one's new. But I'll be patient. I've been trying not to do that stuff a lot lately. So I'm going to be patient. I'll order that part. I'm sure someone makes an aluminum one. If not, I might be able to machine one myself. But I'll probably just order it. Definitely a nice chassis. Nice motor, nice speed control, good chassis layout. Looks really strong. Alright, so I'm going to get to ordering the parts to fix this thing, get up and running again so I can do more videos. So take care, good night, thanks for watching, like and subscribe.